All right, so I was gonna do my first location video with me walking, but I'm afraid to walk and talk at the same time. Plus, I'm in Wilmore Park, which is in South City in St. Louis, and today must be a cross-country meet, so there are people just everywhere. Now, I'm afraid of, of filming with people around me. It's one of those things. Uh, so, I mean, with a cross-country meet and all these people around, it's, it's, it's chaos. But anyway, uh, I saw something in the, uh, I think it was, I think it was on Twitter, but it was an article and it was talking about, uh, you know, how to be the best real estate agent ever. And I thought that was kind of fun because, uh, you know, well, so I think the title was how to be a successful agent. And then I thought to myself, do you consider yourself, John, a successful real estate agent? And the answer is overwhelmingly no. And I'll tell you why. One of the re one of the things that the article talks about is you have to define what it is that you want, define what is successful. And to me, I've always wanted Deerwood Realty to be um, a place where my family and my friends and friends of friends could go to find a real estate agent that would help them buy or sell a house in a real unbiased manner, uh, always looking out for the client first. And I always thought that if I did a really, really good job, my family and friends would recommend me to their their friends and I would just have more business than I could ever do. And in a way that frightened me because I wanted to give individualized you know, attention to all of my clients. And I was always scared that you know, if I got too good at it, that there would be so many people that I would have to hire more agents and then I would be spending my time running around chasing them rather than working with my own clients. And it, it's always been this kind of, uh, this battle. And in the meantime, it's it's one of those things where if you look at my reviews, if you talk to my clients, they'll all tell you like they had a great experience with me. Um, but at the same time, it's not like I'm always busy. During the last couple of years with the, uh, with the, the flu, we'll call it, um, Real estate had a ton of transactions, and I was unfortunately, um, I did well, but I didn't, I didn't out, you know, I didn't outpace anybody really because, you know, when there's a mania, like people jump into the real estate business, and when things get slow, people move out. If, if you look at total um, membership in NAR right now, I bet you'll see that it's it's declining pretty precipitously because the transaction numbers are down significantly. Now I've told everybody about this, you know, two years ago I said, look, I'm hoarding cash right now because it's not going to it's not going to continue and sure enough prices have gone up but transaction numbers have gone down significantly but but to the question of defining success as an agent i i do not i do not feel like i'm a successful agent and when you say well john what would it take for you to believe that you are a successful agent well it would be where i got to a space where I, where i've explained where it's just i i work with my family and my friends and friends and fr friends of friends and people that are just looking for a good agent that just wants to help them buy or sell a house and isn't looking out, you know, for weird things. Like I would never want to work like on a team with like a hundred people. I mean, I don't understand how buyers and sellers, you know, work in those environments. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, would never want, I mean, if you think that having 15 different people in your involved in your transaction makes it easier, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, when you when you meet with a listing agent and it's not the person that ends up selling your house, it's not the person that does the um, that does the open houses. That's not the person that you ever talk to again. And you're talking to some transaction coordinator for the rest of the, tr the time. I mean, you've you've been had. Uh, so, anyway, how do I define a success? Where I get Deerwood Realty to where I want it to be, and that's where I'm able to just continually help people all the time. Um, and how long is that going to take? Well, I've been doing this for a while now it hasn't happened yet. Um, but we'll see, but we'll see. So I'd be interested to know what you think. What are you looking for as an, in an agent? What do you, what would you, how would you define success? If you are an agent, how would you define your success? Is it anywhere close to what that article was talking about? And I think, you know, the one I'm talking about with that, I'm going to head out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow.